Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I want to take and talk a little bit about how to never underestimate something as simple as some pipe in your shop. So this job right here is a project I'm sending out for a client, a repeat customer of mine. They bought a large copper bowl from me and they wanted to take and gift a trivet uh, to uh, their daughter, if you will. So if you look here, I've got these really nice even curvatures all the way across this piece and I'm going to take you out into the other side of the shop and I'm going to show you what I did these on. So let's go ahead and walk out this real quick. Let's walk out to the other side of the shop real quick and uh, show you what I mean. Woo! Going fast, going on a ride. So right now I've got a, I've got a branding iron heating up to get ready to brand the crate for this job. But right here, this is what I produce those nice even curvatures and bends on. Nothing special. This isn't this isn't a jig or any sort of fixture or anything. It's just a random bit of scrap pipe I had laying around. This comes in all sorts of different diameters. You can find this at the scrap yards. Uh, most importantly, don't overlook these. But yeah, basically I just put this and locked it in the vise like so and then just bent the legs around that to a predetermined point like what hopefully you guys can see right there again that's just a random piece of pipe so let me go over here and show you some other bits of pipe that's useful now obviously i've got some bits of pipe here this is aluminum this isn't any good for blacksmithing purposes to try to bend stuff around it heats up and it just kind of collapses on you so that's really no good but over here you can see I have all sorts of different shapes of pipe. Um, everything from down there, that's a big piece of pipe that I've sunk skillets into. That's another piece of pipe over here. Let me pull this out. This is an even larger section of pipe. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There you go. That's like a uh, five inch section of pipe right there. Some off some sort of commercial project that was just cut off again, like schedule 80 here. Uh, pipe throw that back in there I've got all sorts of other pipe tucked away back there this camera probably can't see right now pipe 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 and all kinds of pipe different sizes diameters you name it even square tubing square pipe like this square tubing can be handy to make certain um, bins and stuff if you look at the radius here if you look at the radius on this piece there you go. You got that nice radius. That might be the perfect, that's probably a, it looks like a half inch radius. So if you needed something with an exact half inch inside corner, you could take something like this. Instead of fighting with it over at the horn of the anvil, or if I walk back over here, instead of fighting with it to try to get it right on the edges of your anvil and, and find a nice um, edge for that, or trying to fight to get something round when you're working on a cone just use a piece of pipe a section of pipe and of course these can be cut off these can be cut off they can be shortened and then a piece of angle iron welded on them so this way you can lock them bam straight in the vise that way or any orientation that you feel like you might use this at you can fixture these up real quick and make the really handy little jig that you can bend things around um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, hopefully that's just a helpful tip for you. Just showing you some of the stuff I use isn't rocket science. It's not crazy. Sometimes it's the simplest things that really, really, really help out in the blacksmith shop to get the job done. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit that like, if you'd like subscribe, if that's something you're into. And as always, you can support this channel if you'd like to join the membership body like these fine folks coming up on the screen here. But nonetheless, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless each and every last one of you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.